Hello friends, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another SQL interview question, which is asked in Exceedance Company. So the input here, we have two columns, ID as well as my date, and we have it 11 rows, which is available. So if you observe here, two, uh, the rows are having values of two, three times, and three is present four times, and mean one is also present four times and if you observe here my date is having this is a var cat 2 column which they have mentioned so if you have this kind of data if you can go ahead and what is the output which they are expecting maximum date from that particular id so here if you observe here right one two three and one is 8th of june and two is 5th june and third is 7th june if you observe if you can calculate here from this then automatically you are going to get these are the output values which they are expecting. So by saying this simply, you can get into directly use the analytical functions. What are that analytical? What are those analytical functions? Either you can use dense rank or row number. You can use. So simply, let's get into that particular answer. But here it is a tricky thing is available. Let's talk about it by while giving the solution here. So let's get into here. First, let's go ahead and see the data. I have already prepared the data. So you can see here, data is available. So 1st June, 5th June, as well as you see, first row is having different values. Now, if you can, if you wanted to see in your order wise, simply you can order by, you can use the order by, order by my date, okay? But if you observe here, okay, even if you do order by, order by, ID, okay, order by ID is the one which we have to use it to the, so that we are going to get the, all the values in a single place. If you observe here, so one is having 5th June, 5th June, and as well as we have a 3rd May. And if you see here, another row is containing 8th June. And when it comes to 3, right? So here, if you observe, this is the 5th June is having highest value, okay? So same way, if you can see the third, you can see 7th June is the maximum value. So now the question is here, you have to write the SQL for this. So if you can describe the table, then you can understand the, what is that, what are the data types which is associated. First one is having number, ID is the number, and second one is having my date, which is containing varchar 2. Now, how can you do that? By simply, what you can do here, okay, select, select, Select ID, my date, okay, my date, row number, row number. Then what you have to do here, try to understand what you have to do, row number over. So what basis you want it? Basically, you wanted this based on the, based on what? Based on the ID, based on the ID, what is the maximum date? Whenever you have such kind of scenario, you have to use the Partition by clause, partition by clause. So what basis you have to choose ID, ID. Then what, which value you want it, maximum value. So you can use the order by, order by my date, my date. So see simply by understanding this as well as DES, you can see as, as date rank. Okay. Date or you can mention from which table? Your table name. Just I have given table name is your table name. So you can go ahead and you can select this. Okay. If you observe here, if you observe here, okay, what is the value which you are getting? See, if you see 3rd May, okay, 3rd, 8th May, June May, it is coming as expected. At the same time here, if you observe, if you observe this, the value which you are expecting, right, which you are expecting here, the second row which should come as a 5th June is the highest value. First value should come as 5th June and second value should be 1st June and then third value should come as a 8th June. But here in this case, these three rows, it is coming a incorrect because it is considering it is a var cat 2. So what you have to do? What you have to do? So to do that, you have to convert two data as two data as you have to convert var cat to two date, two date. So, simply what you have to do, you can see here, to date, okay, to date, you can use the to date function and then here what you have to do, you have to give the format, 
you have to give the format. What is the format which is associated? DD and MON. MON. So automatically what it is going to, it is going to convert as a date. So to show you in a separate way, simply you can use to date. Okay. Right now it is a worker. Now, if you wanted to convert to date, see my date. Okay. My date, comma, DD, hyphen, MON. Here you can see from, from your table name, your table name. So if you can query this, then you will understand what internally it is happening. Now you see, right? Now I can keep it even original as well. So my date. So if you can keep original as well as side by side, then you will understand. Here it is coming as a first June, but there is no year. Now, if you can do two date, automatically it is going to take current year. Current year is a date. So in this scenario, you have everything is within the same year. So then, then you need not worry about just use the two date. So using two date, you will be able to you will be able to fetch this. So once you have converted to date, then on top of it, if you do DESC, automatically, automatically it is going to work. So to summarize it, first is what you are doing using row number, using windowing function, using windowing function, nothing but a row number function or row number function. You are partitioning the data, partitioning the data based on the ID. Nothing but a, you are segregating the data based on the ID and then you are ordering the data. You are ordering the data based on what? You want maximum maximum date. So that is the reason you are ordering the data based on the date. Nothing but a my date column. So before doing that, what you have to do, you have to convert whatever the varchar to data type is there, right? That data type you have to convert to the convert to the date. So that is the reason we are using the conversion function, conversion function, which nothing but a to date, it is going to convert varchar to date, varchar to date. So you have to give the format. You have to give the format. What is the existing format you have? If you can give by default automatically, it is going to convert to for this format. DD, okay, I for MON, then it is going to be like this. It is going to convert this format. It is going to convert this format. So once you do order by two date, order by two date, automatically what you are going to get, you are going to get the actual value. So let me execute this. Then you will understand. Now you see here, previously it was second, right? Now it is coming a 5th June as a first value and 1st June as second value, 8th May second, third value. Same way you can see here. So now you want it, what? You want highest value everywhere. So simply you can write what you write. You can write simply you, you want only ID comma my date column right see simply you can write it up like this in line view and then then this particular thing right let me write it up here in line view a where where date rn equals to one date rn equals to one so even however they will ask so you need to align to the concepts if you align to the concepts then it will be easy for you. Now you can see here, 8th June, 5th June, 7th June, 1, 2, 3. Here also, 8th June, 5th June, 7th June. This is the way you have to answer. Please share and subscribe the channel. And please share with others as well, guys. Okay, so that they will also get benefited out of it. Thank you.